Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. The parallax scrolling effect in web design is a great way to enrich your site, showcase products, and create a dynamic sense. Parallax scrolling adds visual interest to a website and encourages users as they scroll through a web page. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a parallax website using Adobe XD as you're seeing here, like this. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so please first download this Adobe XT file from the link I provided in my description. So this is the layout I prepared. And it's the Travelify, the scrollable website. So let me just preview it first. Click on this play button. So you can scroll up and down. So it is, yep. But um, um, the menu bar and the nav bar on top, it doesn't stay there. So what I'm gonna do is select your nav bar. You can see that in your layers panel, nav bar group, and fix the position. And let me play again. So it stays there. So it's better, but still it is not exciting. So what we're gonna do is Select your group, the first nav bar, nav bar, go to object menu, make component, turn to green, so that's the component. Now select everything, then group them as one group. Okay, so this is done. Now, click on the, your Travelify, um, the title of the artboard, hold down the option, Keep pressing your mouse button and the shift key and drag to the right so we can have another copy. Now I'm going to make some kind of a, uh, intro movie animation. So first, uh, zoom in your first page, the original page, artboard, and then select nav bar. You have to double click it because we group them. You have to double click it to select the nav bar or you can just yeah, uh, select the nav bar from your layers. I'm going to move this to the top. It's gone. The tr travel as to live and discover the world your way. These two out of the stage. And uh, also uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to select the second line and I'm going to move even further like that. And my um, the hiker and the cliff, that is this cliff and hiker. I'm going to move him to the right, like that. And my mountains, mountains folder as a group. I'm going to move him down, like that. And the sun and cloud, sun and cloud. I'm going to move down, like that. And then my tree line, this one, tree line. I'm going to move up a little bit. Okay. So, now I'm going to link using Auto Animate from the first artboard to the second artboard. Go to Prototype. Select your first one. Then you will see that blue tab thing, the entire page, link to next to it. And then the trigger is going to be time without any delay and type is going to be auto animate not transition auto animate and then um, destination is this travelify dash one easing option is in and out and time duration i'm going to uh, use the three second mark so let's play it see what happens that's cool isn't it command return again to replay it sun is rising text Nav bar and then a, ha a hiker and the cliff it's coming in. So it looks pretty cool. Good intro. Okay, now go back to design. I'm gonna uh, link, uh, link to the about us page. Select here your second artboard, Traveler 5-1. Hold down the option, keep pressing, and the shift key, drag it right next to it. And then select 
your the artboard that on, on the third page move it up like that about us looks good and select your nail bar and place it there let me zoom in all right on top so that looks good okay and then when we jump to this page i want to do something so i'll first select the about us select the about us text i'm going to move it to the left out of stage and then on my own three images and then the text columns down somewhere here okay and let me select the second one just double click move down my third one move down and hold down the shift key select all these three as a group then change the opacity value down to zero okay now see what happens oh before we do that go to prototype prototype select your second artboard they are not linked yet go there link to the next page and the trigger this time is going to be uh tap and type is ottoman animate destination is a dash number two and is in and out duration three seconds so let's see i'm going to select my first page play once you click on it see this happens it's pretty cool but you know i want to do something when i jump to the next page when i click i want to yeah, the first animation kind of have some reversed uh, animation. That's going to be more interesting. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let me go back to design. On my third page, this one here, let me zoom in. Okay, since everything's in group, you can just move uh, here and there around. So let me choose uh, my... Um, cliff and hiker this one first this guy just the yeah, uh keep pressing your right arrow key like that once it goes the out of this border i'm gonna move it to the right and opacity value down to zero and my mountains click the mountains uh, i'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger let me hold down the option hover your mouse cursor on the corner Keep pressing and the shift, make it bigger. And I'm gonna do this. Okay. And also to travel as to live this text and this text. Double click, hold down the shift key and select this one too. I'm gonna move that to the left. Okay, so let's see what happened. On my first page play good when I tap on it what's the, the first one see it's more exciting let me do it again home page when I click to about us so reverse the action so it looks good so far now back to design I'm gonna make a copy of this third one option keep pressing and the shift key to the right then this time is a your trip page uh here your trip like that let me zoom in and select there your travelify the end the nav bar i'm gonna move down to there let me zoom in even more like that right on top okay and then i want to uh you see this kind of blue dot line so that's the my page i want to uh place that relocate it so um um in my layers let me choose the c 
rocks uh, and hiker and keep pressing you the up arrow key keep pressing so I'm gonna move it up even more 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 okay about that it looks good and then on my um, um, this grass grass image I'm gonna move it up okay and the Sun yep you have to keep pressing the end uh, up arrow key Sun goes up even more okay maybe somewhere there and my search window my adventure trips adventure awaits a little higher and my text I'm just kind of relocating kind of better layout my tree I think tree is okay I'm gonna move up a little bit so I can have more space okay it looks good then in my previous page and here now select hiker this guy I'm gonna move him out of the stage and the trees oops trees if it is hard to select uh, your trees from here you can select it from the tree uh, on this the other layer panel like that and uh, I'm gonna fade out and then uh, maybe uh, my um, uh, this cloud goes there and this cloud that is cloud number one okay and fading out and my sun goes down like that and your trip text to the left and adventure awaits I'm gonna move it up a little bit and opacity down and the search window just opacity down so there's nothing here okay so let's see what happens I'm back to my very first page and play or command return intro once I tap it looks cool once I tap oh I'm sorry I didn't make a link prototype prototype first from your third page to the last page then trigger is gonna be tap same settings type auto animate travel of five three is in and out and three seconds so let's try again see Sun is rising when I tap so this happens but also at the same time let me go back to design I want to when I scroll up I want to have some kind of reversed action for this three text column from the previous page so it's the same thing select your artboard select your uh, double click this one that one and that one I'm gonna move down like that or let me just move up okay and then select double click this one down this one down and about select all these three and opacity down to zero okay now let's see what happens from here play when I click see it is more exciting okay so so far it's good let me zoom out and we have a last page select your last artboard and I'm gonna make a hold down the option 
keep pressing mouse button the shift key and drag it like that and now up here this is our last page I'm gonna move up to somewhere there and then um, um, I need to do something with my um, this image a little down I need more space okay and also I'm gonna need my nav bar double click your nav bar move down zoom in just to make sure looks good okay so packaging pay packages page so it looks good but I want to do something from here select the packages hotel uh, flight hotel car rental chat uh, move down there deselect select the hotel again move down car rental move even down chat down and packages text out of stage let me zoom out then now go to prototype select your this artboard and link to our net last packages page same trigger tap auto animate is in and out three second and see what happens when I tap so this happens but also I want to when I tap on it I want to reverse this action of previous page rather than just a scrolling up so go back to design select this artboard let me zoom in like that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a uh, cliff hiker that is this guy uh, that's the hiker and also tree all together I'm gonna move them out of stage and zero and then also my cloud one you know, cloud number two zero percent opacity cloud number one and zero percent and the your trip the text goes out adventure moving up but opacity value down to zero search window no opacity and then on the sun goes down okay i think it's gonna be more interesting so let's see how it works from this page play when I tap, see, and it's more exciting. Okay, so it looks good so far. So let me play it. So there are total five artboards. I'm gonna select my first one in my prototype. Let me double check everything's linked together and then play. Sorry, first one, play. Coming in, when I tap, goes up and the next page by tapping your trip and the next one so it looks pretty cool looks nice but there's no going back see so now we're gonna make a link from your nav bar so we can jump to any page wherever you are so now go to design and make sure on your second artboard, Traveler 5-1, on here. Select this. Your nav bar. We made it as a component. Okay, and now we're gonna edit it. So now go to Object Menu, Edit Main Component. Make sure you select this one, this nav bar, on your second artboard. Object, Edit Main Component. Now you see that? That's the main one with this green fill now select your go to the prototype in your nav bar I'm gonna choose my first button which is um, flight 
Now under my nav bar, I'm going to choose my home button. See? The blue tab linked to the home page. About link to about. Trip link to trip. Packages link to packages. Now we are all set. Let's see. Play. It's my home page. Let me click on my about. Your trip. Packages. You can go back. As Nicole, about. And home. And you can jump to your last page, wherever you are. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this is the end of Parallax Scrolling uh, website design using Adobe XD. I hope you enjoyed this video and you can use it for your future project. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.